welcome back to daughter divine life my name is nicole roche and this is my channel where we talk about perfumes i'm a lover of perfumes and we also do miracle mondays that's where i talk about of the miracle of the lord and i put my makeup on while i do it, it just gives me something to do so today i have a hidden gem for you now this is a discontinued fragrance from the brand commodity and um, I had seen Commodity years ago everywhere on social media, and I just never picked it up. But I went to TJ Maxx, and um, I saw Commodity there for $28, and it was the scent tea. <laughs> now, I don't have any tea fragrances, and since this was such a good price, and I recently have been wanting to try commodity so i don't have any tea um perfumes and you know this would make a nice addition i thought to my my collection now excuse the messed up box this is just how it came this is such an interesting scent um i just want to give you a little a little gist i'm going to read the back it says infused with honey a rich soothing blend of gourmand tea notes Asian inspired oolong tea, um, Egyptian basil, and warm tobacco notes convey a comforting, relaxing afternoon tea experience. And what is special about this scent? It includes Indonesian patchouli essential oil. I get that in here. They say also that using nature's finest commodities commodity, we invited renowned master perfumers to create their best work. Commodity fragrances are expertly crafted to be significant in their simplicity, elegant yet intriguing, um, subtle yet evocative. Let's see, this scent is... I'm glad I picked it up. I'm glad I picked it up. So it has a really beautiful bottle, simple. The atomizer, it sprays decent. So, I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> I don't know how people do this, guys. This is my first, these are my first videos. This is 100 mils, so this is like the biggest bottle. Um, I love the white packaging, just looks really clean and nice. Now, this really smells like tea, like straight up a literal tea scent. It's a strong tea scent. It's not like a light tea scent. You do get a burst of like this lemon citricky smell initial on first spray. And you also get a lot of wood. It almost smells like like cedar wood or a dusty wood. It's This scent is dusty, so like sawdust almost you get in the back. And I'm wearing it now. Yeah, it's, it's super woody. Um, on clothes, it literally smells like you spilled tea on your shirt. It does have a more masculine feel to it. That, it's supposed to be unisex, but this is more masculine. But I find on the dry down, it smells so good. I don't even care that it smells like pretty much masculine. And that's weird because I normally don't like scents that lean more masculine, where I smell like a straight up dude. But this one I really like because it's a soft masculine scent when it develops. But at first, you will be very surprised because it is pungent. It's almost unbearable when you first smell it. But give it literally like a minute to dry down and then it completely changes. <laughs> I do get the honey in it. The honey is very subtle. It's just like, like a touch of sweetness. Like somebody just put a dot of honey in their tea. That wood and... The powderiness develops as it stays on your body and you get more of the powder and a little bit more of the sweetness as it stays on your body. It's just really comforting, really interesting. If you love tea in general, like the scent of tea, you're gonna love this. But it just smells like um, a basic tea. It's not like a interesting tea, like a jasmine tea or anything. Like not, It's not very floral. Even though I know that it probably might have some florals in there, it's not like I could pick out and say, oh, there's this flower in there. And you know what's really interesting? This smells like when you go into Cracker Barrel 
I don't know if you've ever been to Cracker Barrel, but they have a waiting area and it's like made, everything is like wood and it's very antique -y and cozy and quaint and they have all these little things that you could buy. It smells like that waiting area. So it smells a little dusty, a little antique -y. And at first when I sprayed it, I said, oh no, what did I do? Cause that initial spray is harsh. When it dried down, I was like, eh, it smells too masculine. But then I waited, I reapplied it and I was like, oh, this is good. This is really good. Definitely more for Amanda. My boyfriend, I, I actually gave this to my boyfriend, but we'll be sharing it. Cause I'm starting to like it a little bit more than I originally thought I would. So I don't know if TJ Maxx has another bottle. I might have to buy myself another bottle. Cause technically I'm like stealing his, his cologne. This is a hidden gem, guys. It is discontinued, so if you could pick it up at TJ Maxx, do it. They do have it on Mercari. You could see if you could pick it up on eBay. Um, but if I'm gonna go buy something, it's usually on Mercari, and I just look at the, the seller's um, reviews to make sure that other people got authentic scents from them. Yes, I'm so happy I purchased this. This is a great one. So I hope that was helpful, guys. I don't know why companies discontinue scents when they're really unique and really good. Maybe a lot of people weren't buying this and I do know that they had closed the company um, for a while and it was bought out and then the people who bought it out revamped it. So this is probably just from when, maybe, from when they were, before they closed out, I'm not sure. But anyway guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.